Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Matt Johnson. We are back with another episode of Real Estate Uncensored. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this is the place where you get actionable ideas, insight, and inspiration to turn your real estate career into a life of freedom. And we have a very special guest today. We're going to talk all about uh, how to generate uh, testimonials, how to share and promote them all on social media uh, to generate more referrals and more credibility, more authority, and why that's going to be very, very crucial over the next 10 or 20 years as online reviews get more and more important. We're also going to talk about how to build referral relationships because our special guest is a mortgage uh, broker coach and loan officer coach. And we're going to talk about the other perspective of how to generate and how to develop referral relationships with your loan officers and what they're looking for from you as the realtor. And so let's uh, let's get into it. Greg, the Matt. junior co the grandmaster himself in the co-pilot seat, what is up today? What is up, Big Pivin? How are you, man? I see you're still in the flatlands of the Midwest. I hope you have oh. a grow bad teeth or something, or just you know slowly just meld away. Uh, I don't know. I thought I was going to in the three state straight days of rain that kicked off my visit back home here in sunny and beautiful Nebraska. And yes, that is sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> sunny and beautiful. Yeah, I think it's just gorgeous. Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> the stakes are gorgeous. But, no, man, life is good, man. Today we had a blessed day. I got into the office. Uh, we were getting a couple of our buyers up and running. And our, we were going to be buyer sellers. We finally got a fucking offer on our property that has been had been killing us, and the steel trap is out. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> you know, um, we got them listed, and we got them just, you know, within a frog's fart of what, they, of what their listing price was with a 16-day close, all cash offer, man. Fuck yeah, that's called winning. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. All dude, right. I uh, I cannot wait, dude. Doran, you and I are going to have some serious fun today, buddy. Bring so, it, man. <laughs> well, Doran, so like, Doran right, right. Aldana. Let's do uh, so catch us up real quick. Give everybody like a sixty second bio on who you are, where you are, and what you do. Yeah. Well, again, my name is Doran. Uh, I am a Husband, I am a father. I got four kidlets, age eight, age six, age two, age four months. So, needless to say, I am a sucker for punishment. And, uh, it's been a, a wild ride, man. It's been uh, also an interesting adventure for the last, uh, let's see now, about 14 years being an entrepreneur. I got two different businesses. I started out with, uh, let me just turn this. I got chimes going off on my computer. I don't know if you guys are hearing that. It's <laughs> no, confusing. <can't> hear it. <laughs> confusing hearing that and trying to understand what I'm saying, let alone you guys understand what I'm saying. So I turned that off. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got a couple businesses. We have one that we launched about 11 years ago. We provide marketing solutions to mortgage professionals. I've never written a loan in my life, so I figured it's pretty in sync with my gifts, my talents, my abilities to help mortgage professionals since I know jack about mortgages. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, but I, I love marketing, so it, it kind of fell into my lap. I didn't really chase it. It kind of chased me, and it's a long story, but I had, had, had a client do really well with me, and I helped him uh, triple his business within a sh very short period of time, actually within eight months. He was a mortgage professional. I thought, hey, maybe I should do this with other mortgage pros, and that was like 11 years ago. We've wow. been growing and going ever since. Wow, and then in awesome. Yeah, yeah, and then in September uh, 2014, we launched the Testimonial Engine, helping uh, initially mortgage professionals, very uh, narrow vertical, uh, helping them get more reviews from their clients and share them on social media sites like Google, Yak, uh, Yelp, uh, Facebook, and such, Zillow, and then of course the verticals have expanded beyond that. So that's a little nutshell about me. I don't know if that's how much you wanted, but that's yeah. so you uh, and, so you've been sitting around doing nothing. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, eating from the bread of idleness. It's <laughs> challenging. <laughs> oh yes. Well, yeah, and you're also a big, big Dan Kennedy fan. Uh, very big, like a direct mar response marketing guy, yeah. which is fantastic. What's your favorite uh, Dan Kennedy book, by the way? Yeah, uh, Ultimate Sales the spot. Letter. Ultimate yeah. Sales Letter is a great one. Um, that's probably my favorite, frankly. Yeah. It's How to Make Millions Out of Your Ideas is a pretty killer book too. I mean, they're all good. Yeah, yeah I, it's hard to go wrong. Do they have audio versions of that, or is it just you have to actually fucking read? You know what? I haven't checked that one. I'm always like you. You know, I like to what I call learn and burn. So, yeah. You know, that's the saving grace to my professional development. <laughs> you know, I, I inch my way through books, frankly. 
Oh. You know, after getting all the kidlets in bed and getting everything done, you know, by the time everything's done for the day, I'm just like one page and I'm out. Oh, but yeah. I, I work out and I listen to audiobooks at double speed while I'm working out. I call it yeah. learning while I'm burning, and that is wow. literally a saving grace of my professional development right there. Yeah, that's so true. But Matt makes fun of me. Know. Matt makes fun of me religiously and ridicules me for my dyslexic uh, you know, upbringing and, you know, I, me going to have to go to special schools, and he's like, you retard. I'm like, shut up, Matt. Don't pick on me, man. I learned differently than you learned. We're all different, and we're all special in God's eyes. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, hey, I went to public school too, man, so I'm right there with you. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, cool. While we have for uh, for people to jump jump on and watch us live, uh, if you're watching the replay here on YouTube, just want to thank you real quick and make make sure to hit subscribe. That way, you get our future videos. Uh, and then, if you prefer the audio version, so if you want to learn and burn and uh, and listen to us in the car or at the gym or whatever the case is, and you can speed us up two times, I don't know that I'd recommend that. We go pretty fast as it is. Maybe just stick with the one and a half times uh, on on our particular yeah, podcast. But uh, on that one. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Head on over to uh, iTunes or Stitcher and subscribe there. Yeah, I mean we're like three high D guys. I mean. This, they may have to listen to us at half speed. Who knows? Yeah, oh, no, yeah. man. They need, they need to listen to us time and time and time and time again. All right. So Regardless of what speed, I don't know how coherent we're going to be, but that's your problem, not ours. Ah, we'll, be, we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's my problem. All right. So here we go. Let's. Uh, what do you say we take a little question here first? So No. So this is a this is a marketing question in terms of what you do after the close. So this is from the Lab Coat Agents Facebook group. So Don Richardson asks, I'm looking for suggestions for a good post closing follow up system, whether it's newsletters, postcards, whatever, and any companies that you might suggest. So Greg, let's start with you and and how do you keep in touch with your past clients? Okay, I mean doing those that's very traditional. It's kind of boring as shit as well. Um, you know, it, there's nothing personal about it. There, it's just you know press button, pay money, and it drops into their inbox. Where in, in all honesty, guys, they don't give a shit. I mean, it's nice. It sounds good. You're like, oh, I got the woman fuzzies. I'm doing follow up. They're listening to me and watching me, and they're staying up, you know, reading every word of everything I'm doing. No, they're not. The best thing you can possibly do is get your happy ass out to that house once a month. Matt, well, that's a great question. How do they do that? Well, I'm really glad you asked that. <laughs> that's almost as if you took the words right out of my head. So close. I know. I knew you were thinking it. Um, so, guys, there's a, there's a website called AmazingClubs.com. Now, AmazingClubs.com, we're not talking about booty shaking and loud music and you know, bright lights and you know ecstasy. We're talking about you know the things that <laughs> Matt just shaking his head. just like, God damn it, Craig. <laughs> really? <laughs> Amazing Clubs. <laughs> it all just rolled off your tongue so quickly. It's like, almost as if you <laughs> Yeah. Partake yeah. this night. Oh, yeah. You know, you do. No, no. I, I, don't do that. I don't do that, gentlemen. No, I'm squeaky clean. I never cuss and do the bad things. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, but so amazingclubs.com is a really, really, really cool site, guys. It is where you can go get your people sign up for different clubs like beer, wine, chocolate, teddy bears, flowers, fruit, cigars, lobsters, chocolate, hot sauce, um, uh, uh, cookies, dog dog chew toys. I mean, there's a shit ton of different, you know, you know, things you can select for them. Now, they're going to be a little bit more expensive than kind of 24 bucks for the year that you follow up, but here's the uniquely amazing thing that you can do with this. So, everyone, mostly everybody on this planet likes wine. So, it's going to be like 300 bucks for the year, they, and it's going to be every month they're going to get two bottles of, you know, unique custom wine from boutique uh, wineries around the world. You don't have it shipped to their house. You have it shipped to where? Your yep. office. Oh. And then okay. I pick up, hey, Matt, Julie, you're three obese babies. Hey, I wanted to uh, come on by, and I got the – it's wine time, baby. And Matt's going to be like, dude, you're the pimp. My wife's been uh, you know, losing weight. I got to fatten her back up. Let's give her some more alcohol. <laughs> Fictional. <laughs> Let me clarify. A perennial Fictional problem. wife. Yes. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, you get that and you deliver it to your house. And then I say, you legitimately go, hey, Matt, Julia, three obese babies. Hey, man, I got the wine. When can I come over and drop it off? Because now you're literally not, you're going to be following up with these people every single month. They're going to be thinking about you all month because you're bringing something that they really want. And then you have an opportunity to get in their house, say hi to them because you're not going to leave this gift on the porch. You have to get a, get in front of them and see them. And you can, you know, keep building that relationship stronger and stronger and stronger. And you have the chance to, you know, I don't know, ask for referrals at that point. Just, you know, give them advice, give them a market update, you know, just be there as a value, value add. And you're going to be there for 12 
months giving them wine, guys. How many parties do you think they're gonna going to? And they're like, my wife, my yeah, my client suck me, me uh, my real estate agent sucks balls. And then you, they're gonna go to Julia. Or they don't remember them at all. Or they may remember that them might at be, all. That might, that might be a unique advantage, depending on who you ask. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, real estate uncensored. I love it. That was awesome. Hey, you said it's uncensored. So. <laughs> oh, it is. That's, that is a unique selling proposition, for sure. That was client follow up. <laughs> All right. So, Dora, let's turn to uh, let's turn to you. So, we've got Greg's perspective on it. Uh, what, have you ever worked with a, like a mortgage client of yours to develop their follow up program? For sure, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and I like Greg's take. I've never heard that before. That's pretty cool. You know, the monthly drip, the the monthly connection. Um, especially when you've got that ethical bribe to make you a welcome guest instead of an annoying pest. I like it. Yes, but if you, if, you, if, you, if you have the monthly uh, drip, you might want to go see the doctor, though. I mean, that right? Be <laughs> yeah, that could be a problem. Yeah, I didn't think about that. So I was thinking, you know, to, to kick off the monthly drip, you might want to have an official launch. And one of the things that are, you know, really, really, really killer that's working for, well for my clients right now for a launch to all that. Uh, to really kind of make a big splash, if you will, is to send a gift basket with a big uh, plume of helium balloons, not to the client's house, not to yourself, but to the client's where? The office? To their workplace. Bingo. Yeah. Nice. Now, nice. That's awesome. what do you think, what do you think is going to be happening when there's a, a beautiful gift basket with a big-ass plume of helium balloons? Literally well, getting delivered to their workplace. You think they're going to be able to hand and you know, keep that under their desk in case <laughs> Hell no, right? <laughs> so they're going to be confronted with, "Is it your birthday? What's going on? What's the occasion?" No, this is my realtor. Just uh, send me. Really? Are you kidding me? My awesome. my realtor chump never gave me nothing like that. <laughs> Who's your realtor, right? <laughs> And that's where now all of a sudden you're going to get referrals like crazy. It works so well. It's absolutely the best strategy we've ever tried for creating wow. a commotion in the workplace. That's a really that's cool brilliant. idea. I've never yeah. heard this after 16, almost 17 years, man. That is, I've never heard that idea ever. Yeah, yeah. And then that ties in with another strategy we call the reviews to referral strategy where we send out a review request after we delight them and excite them with this gift basket at the workplace and they're wowed. We just wowed their socks off. Now we're going to send them an email asking for a review using the testimonial engine if you want the shortcut. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you got to do it dinosaur method, doing it yourself. Oh, and no. no nothing worse than dinosaur, no. man, unless you, you're bam bam and you like that kind of thing. No. Um, and then we get that positive review. You know we're going to get a stunning, glowing, sizzling, red, hot, five-star review. Mm -hmm. And then after that, now they've officially raised their hand as a raving fan, right? Now we send them what's called the magic wand letter. Again, via direct mail, this time to the client's home address. Mm -hmm. And I know it sounds cheesy, and frankly it is. I'll admit it, but, but it, it works. works. It works. Who gives a shit? We, we send it out with literally a toy magic wand enclosed, so it's lumpy, so their curiosity gets the best of them. They can't not <laughs> open it. They have to open it. There's something in there, right? So they tear the thing open. There's a little toy magic wand in there, and the headline of the letter says, I wish, I wish, poof. I could have more clients like you. And the whole, I know, it's cheesy, right? But the whole premise of the letter is you wish you could wave that magic wand and have other awesome clients just like them. And since they're so awesome, perhaps they know other awesome friends, family, colleagues who might also benefit from your service. And uh, one of my clients just recently sent out 50 of these letters. Mm -hmm. No shit. He got 18 G's worth of commissions. Holy from 50 shit. letters, cost them 100 bucks. Oh, I'll take that, that for an ROI any day of the week. Right? Holy shit. So what we like to do is strategically layer these campaigns together and interweave them and inter interconnect them, as opposed to um, just doing one thing, having a one-trick pony. No, we we mm -hmm. simultaneously connect all these strategies together, and that's what we found to work best. That's fantastic. I mean, I can I ask how much that costs, or are we not going to reveal that on air because it's so ridiculously affordable that you don't want to give away your wares. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, the gift baskets typically are like a hundred bucks, including the delivery and uh, helium balloons. There's a killer vendor for this, by the way, called GiftTree.com. Check them out. Gift Tree. You can get a VA to manage this whole campaign from the Philippines for six bucks an hour, and Gift Tree does all the fulfillment. Um, so that covers that one. Uh, the testimonial engine 
it's cheap as borscht, man. We're talking like 97 bucks a month, but again, that might seem expensive if you don't see the full horsepower and impact of what it does to automate and streamline getting referrals, getting them on social media. So um, that's relatively, you know, that's very modest. And then the the other piece, the magic wand letter for um, per letter, it's about two bucks, including the little Chotsky with the uh, toy magic wand. It's about two bucks, including postage and the letter and and the magic wand, the toy magic wand. So two bucks per piece. That's I mean, that, that, I mean, that makes so much sense. I mean, that makes so much sense. Dude, you launch that bad boy, you're gonna be blown away how much more money you make. It's crazy. So would you, <laughs> you recommend send me, send me the check in the mail? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, the, your 25 cents will be inbound to you immediately. Um, and I guarantee you, you won't bounce. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm not into voices <laughs> or checks or anything like that. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, so this is just for current, like, you're like the people you just closed. I mean, what about yeah. folks like, um, you know, people that have, uh, you know, been, been your past clients for years and years, you know, back, and you want to reconnect with them? I mean, do you yeah. have a, you know, something for them? Yeah, um, I'm I'm a big fan. I'll I'll tweak this a little bit to be relevant for real estate agents. For realtors, it's called the, or for the for mortgage pros, it's called the annual mortgage review. Mm -hmm. But for the realtor, I would call it something like the um, uh, home purchase anniversary consult or something like that, or the home purchase anniversary um, connection call oh, yeah. or something like that, right? And you just uh, connect with them once a year, and you kind of celebrate it like it's their birthday. Hey, it's your home purchase anniversary, right? Yeah. So that's a good kind of rhythm. Um, we also provide a service called the uh, Done For You newsletter service. So we mm -hmm. send out a homespun-looking newsletter once a month via direct mail. Imagine that. Talk about dinosaur method, right? Like print <laughs> and ink in the mail. Who the hell does that nowadays? <laughs> Nobody. Talk about you know zigging while everyone else is zagging and yeah. sending out from the pack, so that works really well. But it's got to look homespun like you do it yourself. It can't look like cookie cutter crap like everyone else is doing, right. outsourcing it to some boring, dry doll company that puts out crap content that puts you to sleep. Yeah. Unless your yeah. clients are complaining about insomnia, then by all means, you know, <laughs> put them out, put them out with that kind of crap. Um, so a monthly newsletter. Uh, we also do videos, so sending out a video, that's another thing we're just about to beta test right now actually is a real estate version, but we have done for you video marketing service where a video once a week goes out to the client and we create all the content, so we create a little teaser copy if you will that entices the client to click the link, they click the link, they watch the video, it's all custom branded with uh, in this case the real estate agents and the mortgage agent, uh, mortgage professionals name um, contact info, photo, logo, so it's all custom branded and um, all the content is stuff that uh, homeowners actually care about like financial literacy, home maintenance, mortgage and real estate related content, really really killer content, it's about two to three minutes each, so once a week you know powerful little morsels, don't give them a sip of the fire hose with a big newsletter, no one freaking reads that crap, instead you send them a little morsel once a week with a tantalizing little tidbit that adds value and that entertains and that um, engages them with meaningful content. So that as well. Uh, I've given you a few ideas. I'm just trying to think of uh, one more that would really have significant impact. Um, weekly planning. Yeah, I, I'm thinking those are probably the, the biggies for ongoing stuff. The only other thing I would mention is if you haven't already uh, sent out a request to your database for a review. That's a great way to re-engage your database. I've had so many of my clients say they've gotten two, three, four, five extra deals just from uploading their database of old clients into the testimonial engine and asking them for a review. I know, a novel hmm. concept, right? And all of a novel. sudden they're getting people coming out of the uh, woodwork saying, hey, I'm glad you reached out. Um, I'm thinking about doing this, I'm thinking about doing that, I'm thinking about buying a property or a rental property, whatever, and deals come into the woodwork just by engaging. Something as simple as asking for a review. Hmm. You know what, the reviews are so powerful because it gives you them, them an opportunity to reconnect with each other. Um, it also gives them an opportunity to be positive. A lot of times in, in the world, you know, there's always negativity, negative energy, negative everything, but if they can say, oh my God, Matt, Julie, you're three obese babies that, that dent floors. You know, I haven't seen you forever. You know, it was so good to have you. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> see, Matt's Matt's full screen right right now. Bro. So I see him just. He knows just, what's coming next. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's grinning ear to ear, like. Oh, oh man. So <laughs> they de- yeah, they dent floors now. So over the course of the show, we've gone from me having a fictional wife to then having a child to have then having three kids to then the kids progressively growing bigger and at one point they had diabetes. They, uh, they may do. have been cured at They're some in dialysis. point. They're in dialysis. Oh, they're on dialysis. All right, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, mean, I, I, I love, I love, uh, I love what you're doing, dude. Dorn, that is some seriously cool shit, man. And the, the, the way, I, what I really like about it is multi-touch. It's not a single touch. It's not boring. I'm engaged. I like it, and I'm not even a client of you. You know, I think the, the well, the, we can arrange uh, solutions to that, that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's as right. soon as that, I came, that came out of my mouth, I'm like, that's not <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's going to jump all over that. <laughs> yeah, he is. All right. What do you say yeah. we uh, we give some shout-outs, and then we'll dive a little bit deeper into uh, testimonials yeah. and online reviews? Yeah, for sure. Dude, I got some good cool shit, man. I got, I got to talk to Dubai today. So, yeah, I got some good stuff. But you go first, Matt. Go, you go right. first. I'll, I'll Fair enough. Know. Okay, so uh, so a quick thank you to uh, Viral Marketing for helping to make podcasts and hangouts like these happen. Uh, obviously, Greg is a client. They run his real estate video blog there for the East Bay, so you can check out exactly what they do for Greg as well as see a video where Greg explains exactly what they do and why he likes them. Uh, so just go to gregsmarketingexamples.com. You can actually see the, the YouTube channel, the video blog, and a sample of the emails that go out to his database that help him keep in touch that way. So check that out, gregsmarketingexamples.com. Uh, and then I am here actually in, in Omaha for Jeff Cohn's workshop that took place last weekend. Uh, if you're interested in going to something like that and learning how to build a dominant real estate team in your market, uh, just head on over to EliteRealEstateSystems.com and check out the team building workshop. Uh, you can actually register online right there. You can check out like what the dates that are coming up and stuff like that. So with all that said, um, oh, and um, cool. if you want to support the show patreon.com slash reu podcast or pick up uh, Greg's favorite scripts download and um, yeah I think that's it Greg no or the or the, or the, door, uh, the prospecting uh, 10 hours of goodness where Matt and I will be nestled deep into your nest into your ears right where we belong so deep in there so deep 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 so deep 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> wow that was um, wow I don't even know what to say to that yeah, I was I was worried where you're going to be nestled at. So you believe me when you said just just my ears and that's somewhere else. <laughs> All right, Greg, who do you have to shout out? Oh God, you're fucking funny, dude. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, what up, player? Bam, Dubai in the house. I got to talk to him this morning. Super smart guy. He's been traveling and living all over the world. Um, but he's coming back to Florida. Um, he's going to work with his parents. Not live with his parents. He's going to work with his parents uh, in real estate and just had a great time talking with him. What we talked about this morning, dude, I already see the videos he's making and posting onto Facebook. So massive props to you, bro. Brian, what an amazing opportunity to talk to you, my friend. It was truly a pleasure to get some time. I really enjoyed it. I, I, think, I think that we came up with something really good for you, and I know that you're going to be able to put it into action like ASAP. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, I know it's out of your wheelhouse, bro, but just go for it. And you, you will, if you take those three things we talked about, you know, put them all together, you to knock out of the park win. Dominic, an amazing opportunity. You know, Dominic and I had an opportunity to talk on uh, on Monday evening. Young guy, uh, Matt, he tried to convince me that uh, having kids is a good idea. I said, I'm glad that you uh, I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> no, no disrespect, Doran. <laughs> hey, you just have uh, to hang, me, hang with me for a few minutes, and that's the absolute best form of natural birth control you will ever experience in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Hang with me for a few minutes, man. And you're like, and I'm good. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think I can wing it a few more months, a few more years. <laughs> uh, a woman that does not believe what we are talking about, Miss Bianca. Great uh, chatting with you, um, Matt. Dude, she took my advice and she went and did her client party. She got well, not one, she got two new buyer leads off of it. So she is super pumped. I'm really excited for you. And yes, she did te- start texting me at like 5:30 this morning. Um, and Matt, she would like you to rant more. She thinks it's really nice that you said shit. It was. She, it was <laughs> <laughs> okay. So note it. That that's my note. Is I need to cuss more. <laughs> yes, that was actually. Said, it's entertaining. Tell Matt to cuss more. I'm like, okay. I'm <laughs> All right. Um, I was uh, I was in rare form on Friday. 
Oh, you should you should dude. provide a you should provide an ongoing subscription, uh, Matt, a cussing service with a, a monthly subscription. <laughs> that's right. That's so right. You can accommodate her desire for more cussing. <laughs> that cuss her, though. That's right. We'll see what the real market, the level of market demand is on that. Oh, that is really funny. And then Neely, she's feeling a, a blank spot uh, tonight, guys. Hold on, let me check my calendar. Uh, yes, tomorrow, the 5th. If you are hearing my voice right now, or it is before May 5th, if you guys want to take the McDaniel Challenge and you haven't taken it before, but you've been on the fence, guys, everybody else is booked out over a month and a half in advance. Take advantage of this, all right? Um, how do they Jesse, do that, Greg? Oh, man, they're, they're going to get that in just a second. They're going to call me on my handy-dandy little iPhone. It's not so little. It's a big one. But um, Jesse Miller, dude, he friended me. He's 19 years old, dude. He's a pizza delivery guy right now. I Mad props. He's going to get into real estate ASAP, so I had a great impromptu call with him. Um, Jose, dude, th thank you for liking us on uh, YouTube. Sean Kennedy, thank you for liking us on YouTube. Glad you're liking our videos. Um, and then last but not least, dude, Chuck is come on board with us as a full-time ISA. That that boy just crushes heads, dude. He has already gotten us, a, you know, very good solid leads, and it's been two days, man. So Chuck, Seriously? player, yeah. awesome. Dude, he's gonna make wow. he's gonna make so much money. It's gonna blow his head off, and that's gonna make me a lot of money too. Oh, yeah, what's, everybody... what's your what's your average price point in the bay there, Greg, for a shack? Uh, for a, sh you know, a shanty, <laughs> for a shanty, um, it would be about a million bucks. I mean, yeah. for for us in our marketplace, you you buy a POS for you know, a million bucks. But we're carrying two five two seven two three three point seven. We just put our one point two into contract. You know, our baby that's going to be on the market is between four ten and four twenty five. So I mean, that's my shout outs. Let's rock. Dorn's got some shit he's just going to rain down goodness on us today. So I don't want to keep us any more listening to my voice. I want to listen to his voice. Well, let's, let's very quickly tell people that if they do oh, want to get a hold of you, it's 925-915-1978. That is the number for the McDaniel Challenge. Yes, and the McDaniel Challenge is an hour, probably an hour and a half to two hours of you and me talking on a phone, guys. Coaching, training, working through anything that's blocking you or hampering you. Mindset, actions, you know, your market, your whatever. You know, you just don't, you know, you reattach some balls so you get out there and go do something. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that when they fall off, man. Now I know. I should have written down your number. <laughs> reattach some balls. Wow. I think that might be the key quote that I pull out from this episode. What if you have What if you have some, but they don't seem like they're working? You know, that's another problem. Or, fix, or right? if you, you, you reattach someone else's, you know. Some fortitude. You know, crazy. You need, you need to get some testicle fortitude in injection solution. <laughs> That's right. Pump those bad boys that back up. Oh. Uh, so guys, call me. <laughs> Text me seriously. 925-915-1978. Stop being yourself. Hashtag don't let Greg spend a night alone or he's going to harass the shit out of Matt. There we go. <laughs> That's right. Or yeah, don't, don't, don't let him spend a night alone because then he calls me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Doran, back to you. So Yo. let's uh, let's dive into uh, to testimonials and uh, and reviews a little bit. So first of all, give me the uh, the genesis of the idea from working with mortgage clients and kind of how that came about. And what is the um, let let's kind of dive into the process of how you would go about like asking for reviews and what what what's a good time to ask like when do what do you recommend to your uh, your clients? Sure. So the genesis. Um, it's a pain in the ass to get reviews. That was the genesis. It's like, man, you know, we're we're chasing people around asking for reviews, and it's like herding cats to get them to respond. In a rainstorm, right? Exactly. Yeah. Sucking through a straw underwater. You know, that's that's the scenario. So, uh, we needed to find a solution. So the testimonial engine essentially was forged and formed out of the problem of, dang, it's hard to get freaking reviews. So uh, we put this thing together, and what generally does not work when it comes to getting reviews is what most people do and that is asking for the review directly to the review site that requires an account just to freaking send it a review such as Zillow, Google, Facebook, Yelp, they all require an account just to submit a review. Mm -hmm. So any buddy who doesn't have an account, you're kind of alienating them because who's going to go out of their way to create an account just to give you a review? I mean, unless the... Yeah, it's like throwing a roadblock right up front. Unless the, your kid, your brother, your mom, and even then, I mean, when does family ever even comply? Rarely. So, I mean, unless you're paying them like they're an employee, <laughs> chances are they're not going to comply and, ask, and actually do what you ask them to do. So the beautiful thing about the testimonial engine 
is it captures the review first. And it makes it easy because all you have to do is get your assistant. Hopefully you have one. If not, then mm -hmm. you've got to do it yourself until you do. With VAs being six bones an hour from the Philippines, you have no excuse. You can start them part-time, spare time, in between time. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. just get somebody to deal with this minutia. You can't afford not to. That's what I'm saying. And all they do is just add one at a time your clients to the testimonial engine as you close transactions or upload a CSV file with your entire client list, either or. And the system automatically sends an email as if you're sending it personally asking for the review. It's very simple. It's very conversational. It's very easy. The essence of it is, how did you like working with us? I'd love your feedback. Click here to give us a review. It only takes like 30 seconds and it would mean the world to me. They click the link. They go to a review page. The testimonial engine sources it, so you don't have to host. You don't have to create a page. You don't have to construct this stuff. It's auto-populated. The client just simply enters in how many stars they would give you based on their level of satisfaction. Since you guys roll with Greg, chances are you know, you're going to have awesome reviews because, hey, Greg doesn't put up with crap. He ain't going to no. put up with a bunch of losers. So you know you're going to be the bomb diggy and get lots of five-star reviews. So as those positive reviews come in, you are going to now transition those people from that initial review page where they submit the review and the testimonial. They can submit a short or a long or a medium-sized text-based testimonial. They press a submit button on the thank you page if it's positive. If it's negative, they get to they get reverted to a damage control page. We're, we're essentially, that's what it is. It's a damage control page. What happened? How can we fix it? And you get your SWAT team on that. You got to get on that like white on rice to rectify that ASAP so they don't go and share the negativity in cyberspace. Uh, but if it's a positive review, four stars and above, that's where we're going to ask them to do one very simple thing. Copy and paste. Looks like I've got a messenger. What's up, dude? <laughs> is, you know what's uncensored when I got my little six-year-old, Ezra. Say hi, Ezra. Hi, Ezra. Yeah, my, I got my toast. You know, you never know when you need a little bit of toast uh, in the dude. middle of a, a live hangout. <laughs> Someone gets stuck in man. Thank you. I need, I, I need to have my fuel. You know, everybody needs their fuel, even That's in the middle right. of a hangout. So, <laughs> you got a carbo load. We're halfway through. You got a carbo load, right? You got to make it through right. the end of the show. That's right, man. You don't get this kind of energy for nothing, you know. You got to amp up on a regular basis, so it's all scheduled. Uh, so, on the thank you page, that's where we ask them for one simple thing to copy and paste the review they just submitted onto up to three review sites that on your dashboard in the testimonial engine you enter in that you want to build your reputation on. So, for realtors, it tends to be Zillow. Google Plus and Yelp. Those are the big three, okay? Uh, especially if you want to optimize your search engine optimization for local search, those are the big three, okay? So there's just a little icon for each, and it data feeds their testimonial right there. And there's a little button that says copy. So it copies it right to their clipboard, and then it's just they just paste it into one, one or more of those platforms. So what we just did now is they're in the mood they just the submitted mood. a review. They're in the mood to rave about you, to sing your praises. Now that we've got them in the mood, it's just a simple request. And about 20 to 30 to 40 percent, depending on how hot for what you got your clients are, will do that additional step. So that's how we get more reviews on the review sites you care about. And, um, and then we also share the positive reviews on your news feeds on Twitter, uh, Facebook, and Google on those respective business pages. So, so all your done. yeah, all no your fans and followers are going to see that come through on the news feed. That's cool. So you got them all hot and bothered. Now they're ready to do, you know go to town for you, right? Bingo. And they didn't need an account to get that. So now you have that testimonial, and you can use it on your website. You can use it in your online and offline marketing. You can use it on your opt-in pages. You can use it on your sales pages. So many different ways to use testimonials. That's the awesome. main thing, you don't want to go for the jugular and ask for the review using a review site up front. You do that as step two, not step one. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 That's great. <laughs> so, so real quick, just a quick question on like the review site. So what, what do you think is going to be mo more important, let's say five or ten years from now? Is it, your, is it having reviews on Google because Google will always be around or is Zillow going to be dominant enough to make it worth kind of making that your main platform for reviews? Well, I don't see Google going away. You know, they're the 8,000 
pound gorilla. Uh, so I'm I'm definitely seeing that as the you know mission critical number one is getting more reviews on Google. For example, I took one of my clients from around 20 reviews to 41 Google reviews, uh, and he now using the testimonial engine is number one on Zillow and Google. Um, if you Google his keywords, Springfield Mortgage, he's in the three pack on the the map or the top three listings. Mm -hmm. And his competitors don't even come close. I think the closest competitor has like three reviews or something ridiculous. So he's getting calls every day, people saying, hey, I did my research. I see you got great reviews. We decided to hire you for you know, uh, mortgages. Uh, what's the next step? It's literally that it happens every single day. So that's the power of what I call operation domination. And it all is hinging upon your number and quantity and quality of reviews on Google. That's really the, the linchpin of the whole thing, Google. No, it really is. I mean, you know, uh, um, testimonials are absolutely priceless. I know for a fact that, I mean, I've told the story several times, but I mean, to a silly a little purchase a, a, as a barbecue, um, I, I went and read every review humanly possible about what I was going to get. I did my research, and that was a $600, $800 purchase. It wasn't a... Five hundred thousand, million dollar, you know, two hundred fifty thousand dollar purchase, eight hundred mm -hmm. bucks. Dude, I read every one of them. If I saw more than two negative reviews, bam, I was gone. Right. You know. And so, yeah. but if I saw a lot of positive reviews. Ultimately, ended up getting a Weber because every review was amazing. And mm -hmm. I'm like, well, why would I go with these dipshits if I can get <laughs> sub quality? <laughs> it's like, no, no, I want subpar. Thank you so right? much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we. I love being cheap and oh, having yeah. going <laughs> after it. You, right? I think it's expensive doing it right. You think a professional is expensive. Try hiring hiring an amateur. Right. Oh. <laughs> totally, about, like, totally <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, so let's talk about the uh, the timing of of how that's built into. When, I guess when you're asking, so you're, the, the way that you build it into your process, if they're following your process door, and it sounds like they're sending out, like it's just post-closing, they're sending out a closing gift and then kind of getting that emotional high and then going in and asking, are you having them prep it with a call, uh, an email, anything to let them know what's coming? Are you having them like give them a personal call to let them know and explain what's coming? No, no need to forecast it. No need to uh, send a messenger in advance and, uh, you know, foretell. Uh, just... Do a great job. Get them at what I call the MMS, the moment of maximum satisfaction, and send out that review request. You may need to send a, another follow-up. The testimonial engine says a follow-up. If they don't respond to the first one, it automatically follows up with the second one. And frankly, we have another little trick, a little arrow in our quiver called the special notification email to non-responders. So actually, we for optimal results, we send out three emails. If they don't respond to the first, we send a second. If they don't respond to the second, we send a third. We find that three emails is the optimal number of emails to hmm. get optimal response. And then if they don't do the copy and paste to the review sites, then we send another email out to everyone who gave a positive review that didn't do the copy and paste, and we uh, ask them to do that step. And we'll get an avalanche of people submitting uh, these reviews onto these review sites just by the additional follow-up. It's not like they don't love you. It's not that yeah. you're not worthy of it. It's just that they let life get in the way. They get derailed. The you know the the kid pukes on them. Uh, yeah. You know they're they get an avalanche of emails that day. They get a phone call from mom, whatever the case is, and they forget about you, right? <laughs> they get toast personally delivered to their workspace. <laughs> <laughs> right? they, they get that big Actually, of helium balloons, you know, like, they get distracted. Yeah. Yeah. You know the funny the funny thing is is I was at a, a listing appointment yesterday and there's a wonderful couple we were representing um, talking about timelines and everything and yeah, they're holding their newborn little baby and dude I got a seriously low gag reflex and all of a sudden this kid's like just <laughs> shit coming out of their mouth and I'm sitting there going <laughs> <laughs> I don't look yeah, away. You, you, oh you're man definitely, you're definitely well cut out to be a dad you oh, yeah. sign up for that program, man. Poopy you need to get on the fast track. Yeah, poopy smells and vomit. I'm, I see a kid vomit on me, or I see a dirty diaper. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I would not do it. The kid would be covered in my puke. It would be a puke. <laughs> you know what you need I to do? You, you just need to get on the old school program. You know, find some girl who likes to churn her own butter, butter and uh, maybe she's got a little head covering or something. Oh, and, uh, 
maybe she, you know, even oh, I would love those. squeezes out her own milk out of her own cow. Get someone who's oh. super old school, and she covers all the changing of diapers, and all the puke. My father-in-law had three kids, never changed a single diaper. What? I gotta get his manual. I gotta <laughs> get his manual. <laughs> That's what we call the old school program. You need to get on that, oh. brother. <laughs> yes, I do, dude. That's right. <laughs> Even my little. We're gonna get you friend. a nice. We're gonna get you a nice, study, sturdy Russian bride, Greg. <laughs> That's okay. They're smoking hot. With the That's head cool covering. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> I said sturdy. You want you oh, want sturdy. someone with some load bearing hips? <laughs> you mean like something like Julie? Yeah, I, mean, I, sure. have hear, I have to hear a young right. woman. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about, uh, before you continue to insult my fictional wife, um, let's talk about referral relationships a little bit. So uh, so give us the uh, give us the other side of the perspective, Doran. When you're working with your, your mortgage clients, uh, what, they, what should be happening is they should be being approached by realtors trying to develop relationships with them uh, and sending them business. At least that's the theory, and that's what we tell uh, – people on this show to do, which is to start right. building your referral network and all this stuff. So what does it feel like, I guess, from the mortgage perspective, and what, what do your clients wish they would get uh, from their real estate agents? I mean, obviously, they want referrals, but it's the, the cultivation of the relationship is just as important as whether you actually send anybody referrals or not. So let's talk about what's, what's the other side of the coin from this all this referral relationship stuff. Dude, <laughs> if your realtors actually did what you're supposedly telling them to do, go after mortgage pros, that would be mortgage pro utopia. <laughs> so this that is would not be happening. their utopia. So our show is not big enough and they're not taking no, our advice yet. I mean, Fair come enough. on now. Let's let's face it. <laughs> Realtors are tired of uh, re referral parasite mortgage pros. God, yes. Calling them up, asking for referrals, asking to for a meeting, you know, the proverbial... Uh, show up and throw up. Here's why you should do business with us. The the rate sheets and donut ups cir circuit showing up at your open houses. Oh, <laughs> How did that ever become a thing? Rate sheets yeah. and donuts. That yeah. sounds horrible. So I mean, let's be real. That's the gravity. That's the trajectory. That's the current that's already in effect. I mean, realtors. The last thing they're thinking about. Uh, at three in the morning is dang. I need some some more mortgage pros in my life. That's what I need. You know, <laughs> I need to surround myself with more mortgage pros who are yeah, begging I, and tied in for business. That's exactly what I need. Yeah, I often just sit there and ponder, you know, why I don't have enough of them around, you know, lurking around me. You know, See, so ominously. if only you did. Well, this, you yeah, have... this is coming from the guy whose boyhood friend is his mortgage lender. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But I, I mean, I still get hit up all the time. Like, you know, hey, dude, if you leave, I could just be second place. I'm like, you're never gonna be second place, home girl or home boy. Right. It ain't freaking happening. Right. Okay. So let's let's learn something from from this. So what what do you teach your mortgage if in this environment, right? So what mm -hmm. do you teach your mortgage clients to do when they are trying to develop relationships? Because realtors do find themselves in that situation with other professions. Sure. Financial advisors don't wake up in the morning and go, who can I send? That wants to buy a three bed, two bad house, you know, house in Pacific, you know, Pacific Springs or whatever. So there's other right. industries that react to real estate the mm -hmm. same way that real estate reacts to mortgage, right? So what can we learn from that? Yeah, well, I mean, anytime you're thinking about referrals, a good question to ask is, who does business with my ideal client before they need what I got? Mm -hmm. And connect with those people. Obviously, that's why there's you know, a stampede of mortgage pros chasing down any Bob, Dick, or Harry who calls himself a realtor because that's their mm -hmm. their line of thinking. So they already intuitively know that, right? It mm -hmm. makes sense because what other referral partner has the capacity to send more referrals more often for a mortgage professional than a realtor? The answer, mm -hmm. nobody. Mm -hmm. So you want to ask, as a realtor, you want to ask the same question. Uh, you know, who has the highest capacity to send me the most amount of business most often? That's the million dollar question. So when we talk about that for mortgage pros, we already know we got to deal with all kinds of resistance, resignation, uh, you know, a, 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 a repelling gravitational pull that's already set up. People don't want to. Realtors don't want to be talking about uh, talking about meeting up with a mortgage pro. Mm -mm. They just don't. So what we got to do is we got to zig while everyone else is zagging. Instead of talking about mortgages, which is what everyone else does, what I teach my peeps to do is talk about the things that realtors actually care about, namely how to attract more quality listings, how to sell them faster for top dollar, how to generate more buyer leads, how to generate more referrals and repeat reviews, 
uh, rave reviews and referrals and how to automate that process. I mean, the bottom line is realtors want more cash, easier, better, faster. Do they not? No, we absolutely <laughs> do. Right? Because you're all lazy bastards and you just want to work more while working less. I mean, let's we, just sit on the, we just sit on the couch eating bonbons. You know, exactly. that's my marketing plan. So, yeah. you know, that's the, that's the main shift in paradigm that I teach is stop chasing around the bottom feeding, whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly de donut eating, mediocre realtors. <laughs> Instead of target the top dogs, target the upper echelon, you know, doing 50 plus transactions, 100 plus transactions a year. So we, we, we make a hit list, a top 100 hit list of the top dog realtors in that mortgage professional's uh, market area and we target them. Not talking about rate sheets and donuts and mortgage rates and mortgage products and all that BS. You know, that's going to put them to sleep. That's going to get them running. And said, instead, we talk about the things I just talked about. How we're going to help them attract more listings, sell them faster for top dollar, put more money in their wallet, that sort of stuff. And, um, and then we deliver. So we have some killer systems for delivering on that. Um, so we got you got to have a unique value proposition. Uh, mm -hmm. That's basically the bottom line. You got to number one, know who your highest leverage, highest capacity uh, VIP partner is. You know what type of um, category of business is that, and then target the top producers in that category. Number two, what's your unique value proposition? Why should they work with you as opposed to all their other options? It can't be just because you know you got great rates and great service, or it can't be just because you got lots of experience. That you know, isn't that the thing that's touted in the real estate world? I've got integrity. I've got you know X number <laughs> of years experience. Well, who oh, gives Lord. a shit? I mean, doesn't yeah. everyone say that? No, nobody yes. that listens to this show should ever make that mistake. Ever. Right? And you're not number one. You're not yeah. number one. Right? Yeah. I think it was Jenny Williams that said, if you have to tell somebody you have integrity, you probably have none. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that is not something you should ever have to say about yourself. That's where the testimonial engine comes in. Let your peeps yeah. do that for you. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about buyer lead generation for a second. So you said you had some killer systems. That, um, is that is that one of them? Like, what do, you, what do you guys do to kind of follow through on that promise? And do you have any tips you can give to realtors for, uh, like, online lead gen? Sure, yeah. Before we transition, though, uh, I should mention that I'm a big proponent of going proponent of going narrow, deep, and rich with just a few, mm -hmm. as opposed to wide and shallow and chintzy with many. Yeah. So if you're looking at highest leverage, highest profit, you know, blow the doors off your income potential with re referral partners, you want to go for like maybe half a dozen to a dozen as opposed to going for dozens. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So okay. anyway, I just want to mention that because that's that's mission critical. Yeah, I like that approach. No, it, actually um, really, no, it really is though because of the, t the top lenders that I work with here in the area, I mean, I can think of two of them right off the bat. One is a gal, one is a guy, and they each have, one of them, the gal, only has one team that she really works with. She'll work with others if they come in, but only one team that just crushes heads. Mm -hmm. And then the guy, he works with a very small select, maybe three to five, you know, agents. Doesn't want any more because they're all, most of the time the agents are a waste of space. They're always looking for something, wanting something, but they're never giving any freaking loans because they don't do any damn business. So I, I, could, I couldn't agree with you more. I, I really love that. Yeah, yeah. You know, skip over the duds and just work with the studs. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking, speaking, of, speaking of the studs, uh, just quick question just from my experience working with Jeff. He's a huge, huge proponent of, uh, of marketing service agreements, which that is one of his, like the questions that he gets the most from, you know, aspiring top dog agents or how to establish those with their lending partners. So is that something that you've encountered from your side of the table a lot? In terms of um, arrangements, agreements, and writing? Mm -hmm. I mean, you talk yeah. about a way to lock in a top team. That's the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. We, we call it the VIP partnership agreement. Mm -hmm. And we have what's called a VIP partnership program. And we develop uh, even a PowerPoint that they can walk their prospective VIP partner through that walks them through all the kick-ass uh, value-added solutions, systems, tools that are exclusively for their VIP partners. And at the end, it's as simple as if they've done their job right, it's as simple as, you know, how would you feel about being a VIP partner? Hmm. And, uh, and, then, and then at that point, they would sign the uh, agreement of understanding. Gotcha. Do you, um, uh, with your, do your lenders that, that are doing this with these agents, I mean, is there anything that you guys have put together that these agents can then take out to their buyers, maybe first time or haven't done it in a while, the process of getting a loan and all, everything that's needed? 
um, for them to provide because I know my guy Casey, he he time and time again will repeat himself a million times. I said, give him something in a writing case with your brand on it my brand on it. I mean, do mm -hmm. you guys provide something like that at all? Yeah, I mean, uh, certainly having a brochure or having a, uh, a card is a good thing. Frankly, what I find to work best is uh, I'm going to get my guy, the guy who I know and trust, to provide the best rates, the best service, and get the deal done right on time. I'm going to have him give you a call. Um, if you're n locked out of, you know, your ability to do that, I know in some states you're not allowed to quote unquote do that. You have to give out three cards. Really? Uh, of course, no one really uh, complies that right. to that. <laughs> no. It's moronic. I mean, you have no way to control the quality of the transaction if you just got some yeah. Joe Schmo uh, to uh, handle the financing. You got to know that you know that you know that you got the right guy handling the financing because mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, when a deal falls through, what's the reason? Financing, right? Mm -hmm. Or the or the or the buyer went out and bought himself a new motor home or boat or motorcycle right in the middle right. of the transaction or decided again, to get that buyer. Which again, the mortgage pro should have been coaching the client through that. Yes. Stuff. You know, don't leave it yeah. to chance. Well, and that's a good point because, it, like you said, Greg, and, uh, and maybe instead of having something that you give out in writing that's personally branded, you should be bringing Casey into your videos, get him into the office, and shoot a video on oh. like what to do and how to handle yourself. I uh, tried him you on know. camera. I've tried him on camera. No, yeah. no, no, no. It's not happening. Yeah, he he he's got a great okay. face for radio, right? He's got a personality. <laughs> he's very much East Coast he's got, personality. He's like got a personality that. for print. <laughs> personality for print. Just bullet with a point. Ghost, with a ghostwriter, right? <laughs> <laughs> Best damn lender I've ever used in my entire life. But you know what? Don't. He's not. He's definitely not going to be us, like on camera talking and laughing right. and having fun. He's like, fuck this shit, dude. I want to get your work done. Click. Yeah. yeah. So what you want to do? What you want to do is just tell. This is what top dogs do. They tell the client what's going on. They don't ask the client. They tell the client. I'm going to get my guy, who I know and trust, mm -hmm. uh, to call you to get you pre-approved. Oh yeah, we do He's that. The guy, right? And then you just pass the client's contact info to the mortgage pro. No need for any business cards or brochures or any mm -hmm. of that crap. It's just an endorsement. Yeah. Pass the baton. Boom. Done. That's what I do every single time. It's not a. It's not. Is not a question. It's like, well, I have three I, that you might like. Here are the personality styles of Bob, yeah. Stephanie, and Casey, and they're gonna be like, who fucking cares? Who gets the deal done? Exactly. That's all. Casey does. Great. There's a the deal right there. Boom. Go get it. That's all that matters. Yeah. Cool, man. Yes, you want to talk about buyer leads? <laughs> All right. Say what? Yeah, yeah. You want to talk about buyer leads? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm not a I'm not a quote unquote marketing guru for realtors, but this is what I'm known to be effective, at least from the the um, fusion marketing initiatives between the mortgage pro and the real estate agent. You know, frankly, these are fundamentals. You know, some of you guys are gonna you're gonna laugh at these because they seem so rudimentary and fundamental. But half the people uh, laugh and probably aren't even doing the shit. So it ain't about <laughs> it ain't about knowing it, about it. It's about doing about it. That's mm -hmm. how you know you you actually know it is if you're doing it. Yeah. So check yourself if you say, hey, I'm already I already know that. Well, are you doing it? Um, a big thing people miss is something as simple as an effective way to capture leads at open houses. They have a stupid little guest registry that no one uses. People walk in and out and nothing's captured. I mean that's one of the biggest wastes right there. Mm -hmm. um, if all you do is just create a effective way to consistently ask every single guest to enter in to the feedback form, the open house feedback form, uh, I know, again, there are regulations in terms of whether or not you can do draws and stuff like that from state to state and so on. So uh, forgive me if I'm going outside of uh, what's legal in some respective locations. Dudes, why don't you guys tell me, is it in your location, is it legal to uh, have an enter to win bribe for an yeah. open house feedback form? Yeah, we do. The, the, we have a bunch of agents um, that here in the area they do uh, enter, and this is for real estate agents. Hey, you know, if you give us some feedback, and you can have a chance to win a hundred dollar Nordstrom's card. The fun, the right. ironic part about that, I've never heard of a single agent winning the Nordstrom's card from the agent. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. It never happens, right? But at least like, they got the bribe out there. It's like, like oh, you just missed it by that much. <laughs> yeah, so close, right. but maybe next time. Yeah. Yeah. So like you know. Uh, a gift certificate towards a nice restaurant or Home Depot yeah. or Nordstrom or whatever. So a bribe would be a good start. The other thing is blame the home seller. Say our home seller asked yeah. to ask every 
uh, guests to give us some feedback on your experience of the, the suite or the home. If you'd be so kind as to fill that in before you leave, that'd be much appreciated. I mean, if all you did is do that and train your buyer's agent or your, uh, your listing agents or whoever's manning your open house to do that, you'll get way more leads. And then what you want to do, you want to have a place where you ask, are you pre-approved? Um, so that's a great lead for the mortgage pro. And also, do you have a buyer's agent? Great lead for obviously you as a buyer's agent. Um, mm -hmm. So that that that's a, the one way to get um, leads is just doing that. I know it sounds rudimentary and you know head slappingly sip, simple, but you know no hardly anyone does this. No, no one ever does it. I mean, because yeah. it's so simple, they're looking for the the silver bullet at these different events that the you know God's just going to rain down the most perfect buyer, and the perfect buyer is going to go, Hey, I've read all about you. You're brand new, and I think you're perfect to represent me. Shit right. ain't happening. Right, but I mean, if you just ask them, you know, as long as you, as long as you don't call them fat, kick them in the shins, you know, and spit on their mom, there's a high probability if you can, you know, bumblefuck your way through this thing and be a door monkey and get them into the houses, you're gonna get the deal, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But you have, it's like dating; you're not gonna date her unless you ask. Bingo. Okay? I was, I was really afraid of where that analogy was going, but okay, that was that was pretty tame. <laughs> yeah, that was tame. That was tame for Greg. Oh, what yeah, is wrong with me? I believe it. I know, I know. <laughs> apparently, no. apparently, you're 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 needing one of these delivery services because right. your uh, brashness <laughs> and, and bad taste is starting to wane. Oh, that's right. His energy is waning towards the end of the show. All right, yeah. let's uh, let's let's send this uh, send this baby home. What do you say? Yeah, my bad taste is waning. Right. We gotta go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can't have that. Over yeah, we can't now. have that at all. All right, so Doran, <laughs> so so tell people where they can learn more about you, and uh, I think you've got a free uh, free giveaway for anybody that's interested in the testimonial engine, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, the magic wand letter that totally crushes it. They got 50, um, 18 G's from 50 letters from one of my clients. I have that in a Word document. You can customize it to your satisfaction. I got the vendor where you can get the um, magic wands also right in there. And I got a shitload of other awesome, cool stuff to help you grow your business, such as checklists, tools, templates, um, exact proven uh, battle-tested templates for the best wording to use, the words that work for getting reviews, the most number of reviews, the best reviews, all that jazz. Um, it's all in this um, handy-dandy little downloadable tool called the Ultimate Testimonial Toolkit. And uh, I've, uh, I haven't done this yet, so stay poised in position because there is going to be about a 15-minute delay from the live event. I'm going to have to get on this right after we unplug. But I, I'm going to put together a special link uh, where you can grab it for free. All this bundle of awesomeness for free. You just got to opt in at that particular location and you'll be able to get it. So the uh, specific place to go is mytestimonialengine.com forward slash Greg forward slash G-R-E-G as far as I recollect the correct spelling of your name is. Right, Greg? I went to public school, but I got that one figured out. Just do forward slash big pimpin' or something. Yeah, big balls. That's right. We'll keep it simple. Oh, man. We don't want to confuse anybody. Okay. Yeah, so that's probably the best way to get my stuff. All right, Greg, and then quickly, what's the McDaniel Challenge? McDaniel Challenge, guys, if you were deaf, dumb, and mute prior to the the beginning part of the show, and you're not paying attention to the goodness, it is an hour and a half to two hours of us talking on the phone privately. That's not creepy, by the way. That's just supposed to be like a good coaching thing. And you're going to be able to work through anything that would stop or hinder you from getting to where you guys want to be. I truly, truly, truly love you guys. I really do want to see you guys succeed in the shortest amount of time. That's why I take my time four nights out of the week to come hang with you guys. We're going to kick our feet up, have some fun, take some notes, drink a couple of beers, have some laughs, you know, just and really enjoy our time together. Uh, please get off your ass and uh, give me a call, 925-915-1978. I mean it really simple. There's three nines in there, one in the beginning, the middle, the end. You guys, you can't, you can't forget it. Um, or if you're bathing or driving or slightly sleeping and you can't remember the numbers, um, you know, go ahead and go to McDaniel Systems, right, Matt? Or is it uh, go McDanielChallenge.com? Mc, McDaniel, McDanielChallenge.com, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm mentally challenged. Uh, McDaniel challenge. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're thinking it. We're knowing it. 
<laughs> do you know, okay, before we get off here, it's <laughs> perfectly with what you were saying, Doran. I was talking to my uh, AIM class today, and I said something like, hey, I don't mean to be weird uh, on that. They're like, oh, Greg, we know you're weird. That's why we like you. I'm like, what's my persona? Seriously. What? <laughs> yeah, we make us feel so much better about ourselves in contrast. <laughs> like, ooh, that's, ooh, wait a minute. That's not good. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, we have uh, sadly run out of time. This was a lot of fun. Doran, thank you so much for uh, for being on the live call with us today. That was awesome. Super, super fun, man. You, you, you guys are a blast. I, I can't tell you how uh, – I've done a lot of these, and this is definitely by far the most fun I've had doing one of these. So uh, keep being crazy. <laughs> Good. No problem. <laughs> for having me. Absolutely no problem. I'll keep my bad taste up. I got to get my hair taste. <laughs> All right. So hang, hang with us, Doran. Uh, we'll let the uh, the live broadcast go. Everybody else, uh, if you're watching on the on the live broadcast, just want to thank you real quick. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube, iTunes, and Stitcher, and then uh, join us on Friday, 11 a.m. We've got Jeff Latham is back on the show. He's one of the top real estate agents and team leaders in the country, uh, based out of Washington area. So join us for that. And then we've got a couple cool guests next week. We got all kinds of stuff going on. So, yeah. but we'll see. Uh, you live viewers and everybody back here on uh, on Friday. Yeah, guys, and friend me on Facebook, friend Matt on Facebook, watch our, li our Facebook lives we do every day, get additional training you do not get on the show. All right, I love you guys. We're out of here. All right. All right.